back again with another street beef reaction um if you guys have been watching another street beef i said i think a person who has a least a legit grappling background is going to do very well in you know street fights or or fights out in the street so somebody in the chat said that check out pa hitman he has a black belt in jujitsu bj black belt that's what they're saying right now so we're going to find out and take a look see if this is true or not Oh man, here we go again. Uh, glove up or shut up. 5'11, 165. Okay. PA Hitman, 5'7, 165. Jesus, dude, you didn't tell me you were 75 years old. <laughs> I'm playing. Check out my sponsor, Beat Your Ass. Check it out. Facebook, Instagram, Beat Your Ass. And, Twitter, and make sure you follow the PA Hitman show on YouTube. Huh? Okay. Street Beefs. Before we get started with these uh, matches, Go subscribe to Scarface's uh, new channel, Scarface Street Stories. Go show love to Demon Boys Boxing. If you guys want to Here, boys. Help, go give them a follow. Wait. Subscribe. 175, man. A.K.A. Hollywood. Mm. Y'all don't want no smoke, man. You know where to find me. I don't want no Every smoke. Week. All week. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every week. Yes, sir. Once a week. Oh, show. Here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Lord best right. of bond. You know what it is. And go follow me on Twitch. Tell right? boys. In this corner, we got Jenga. Two and zero in Satan's backyard, and in this corner we got PA Hitman. Four and zero in Satan's backyard. This is a title match, guys. Good luck. Let's go ahead and get to it, baby. We went over the rules already. Y'all want to come to the middle? Come to the middle. Touch gloves. Conduct yourselves as. Is this guy a champion who has his belt and he's refing? I've never seen that before. No, this is title fight, so that's what we're fighting for. Okay. Man, listen to my command at all times, man. You know what this is. This is street beast. Round one, let's work. Okay, good single leg. Hey, inside trip, very good. Okay, so he's gonna do right here. He's posturing. Oh, he's trying to go for a leg lock right there. Oh, elephant. Oh, okay. Nice little heel hook temp. All he needs to do is relace that bottom leg. You see the difference? When he's on the ground, he's going for shit. Oh, he didn't do... He's got to lace that leg right there. He's just got to lace this leg right here. If he can lace this leg underneath and this leg on top, that ACL would be gone. And he had a good bite. Yep, he's got... He's, see, now he's trying to lace the legs. It's very good. He's got it. But you see the space between the heat... Uh, right, the space right here? This is giving his foot the ability to deflect. So he doesn't have the knee locked in place in order to tear the whole ligament. It's kind of crazy that these guys are amateurs and are allowing this guy to do it because if he tears the ACL, that's a fucking nine month uh, surgery and rehab and everything. Lock it in. Roll. Yeah. <sighs> I come on, take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Yeah, he, he's not going to get it. So this guy's pretty flexible. But he's got to lock that leg out even better. Right there. So what you need to do is take this hand reap more or take this hand grab this hand and then use it as a sweep oh, keep lacing that leg keep lacing that leg there you go. now you come up now you come up but this guy's look at his face see that space is there a time on this i might stand y'all there is the what do you mean is there a time on this he's about to tear your whole shit apart don't stand him up that's horrible refing. That's horrible. The reason why he's asking, is there a time on this? Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not as good. I can't get out. Okay, I'm I'm 60 seconds. Thank yep. you. That guy's lucky. He's so lucky. Break! That is Stand stupid. I, do, I totally disagree with this ref, this ref's uh, call right there. When you have somebody in this legitimate submission, that's about to tear his ACL and LCL and MCL and PCL. You do not stop. That is a very, very dominant position. So the ref is fucked up on this one. This is freestyle fighting, baby. Freestyle fighting. What does that even mean? What is freestyle fighting? What is freestyle fighting? Let's work. Oh, 
Don't stand, dude. Don't stand. 30 seconds, man. Hey. Yeah, this guy is a little older. Find a younger kid. Nice crawling. So, good job coming in. All right, pass that guard. Pass that guard. Go up top. Okay, good. Control. Let's look for a Kimura. Let's look for something. Nine. Circle. You know what to do, round two, street beast, let's work! Mm, horrible shot. Ooh, way to get a return. Ow. So where that guy's kicking, it's not even hurting. He's kicking right in the shin. He needs to kick him up higher. Man, coming for the title. <laughs> oh god, this damn was hilarious. Hey, let's see if you can finish it. Right, bear hug, bear hug. Bear hug. Inside trip, inside trip. Here is Sue to style. Punches, punch him in the face. Dance, or I will stop. That's they gotta stop that. They they have to stop that. You have to let you have to let these guys work, right? I, they they just got in this position. It hasn't been ten. It hasn't been fifteen seconds. One minute. Break. Break clean to the middle. Yeah, that's. I don't. I disagree with that again. So right here, when you see these guys are having a hard time, they're they're, they're keeping their distance. They're too everybody's scared to break distance. The guy on the left is scared to get hit. The guy on the right is scared to get taken down. You see it. You see it. You see it. You see it. Sit up, old man. Come on. Freestyle. Fight. Freestyle. I like that roll. Look at that. See what I mean? Anybody with a legit background could destroy a rain street beast. I feel like. All right. Let's see you work. That was actually very impressive. Imanari roll. Good. Going on right. He's going to the north south. Okay. North south. Might have a 1 1 going to the final round. Touch gloves. to the middle. Touch gloves. Round three. You know what it be. Street beast. Let's work. Do the same thing, dude. Imanari roll. He has, no, he has no answer for his takedowns. Yep, it's okay. And when you have somebody defending the takedown, you fake the shot and you overhand right. Make the shot. Make the shot overhand right. There you go. Got it. Now finish, 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 finish. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do? You're side control. Suck him in. 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 There you go. I like what he's doing with that knee right there. That's a very dominant position. Oh. Go over the heel hook. Don't do that. Middle, middle, unlock, break, middle. Freestyle fighting, man, you got to constantly be advancing. Let's work. Is that what freestyle fighting is? Is constantly advancing? Well, this guy is a BJJ black belt. I understand that, but I think he's way. I mean, he's old. He's older, and he's not as spunky as this guy is. Seven, six, five, four, 
Let us know how you felt know about the decision. Good work, guys. Good work. I think it was a good fight. I think the gentleman on the left, I was more impressed with him because he actually utilized some like legit technique with the Imunari roll, also going for the heel hook. Um, I think if he would have the heel hook locked in more and took away that space, as I showed you guys when he was trying to do it, I think this gentleman would be on the way to the hospital right now getting um, an MRI to see why his knee is uh, not stable. So... I think at the end of the day, I truly believe that anybody who comes in the street beefs and fights in the backyard and has legit grappling, not saying this guy did not, but he is definitely older. I think it just, they, they just clean the floor because there's way so many opportunities to be able to take advantage of these, these guys where it's like you get their back, you put the hooks in, you flatten them out. It's just like when I watched baby Hulk, baby Hulk, he knew exactly what he was doing. He passed the guy's guard at the guy's back, flattened him out, choked him out into the fight. Right, so a lot of these fights they keep going on because they're more of a scrap, and obviously the ref and the freestyle fighting. I totally disagree with that. When you have somebody in a dominant position like that, I know you have three minutes left or in the round, but you have to let the athlete work. You have to let these guys work in that position. Then otherwise, you might just stand up and bang. I understand you got to constantly advance, but at least give like a 20, 20 second count or thirty second count every single time the gentleman in the left and the red got closer. He never. Got opportunity to actually work. Even when you have to set the third heel hook attempt, they said, oh, I'm stopping you because you're not advanced. It's like, well, give me time to actually work. So other than that, great breakdown. Uh, thank you, sir. I think this is the guy that I've seen street people who has the most technique on the ground. Everybody else is like, you know, flailing and looking for shit. So another street beef. Thank you guys so much. You guys like this video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Know we're going live. And you know we drop a new video. Appreciate you guys. One love.